Hey there, Prayer Plant Girl here. Today, I have a couple of things I want to do today. First, I want to say a big thank you to all of you who have been hitting that subscribe button lately and finding my channel or all of you that have been staying with me for all of these years. I just passed the 10,000 subscribers mark earlier this month and it's a really big milestone and it's because of all of you that have taken that time to hit that subscribe button and come and watch my videos. Who knew? This little channel from Saskatchewan, Canada, but have so many people from all around the world that want to watch it. Thank you very much for, for all your support. The other thing that I want to do today is put a little bit of life back in my yard. It's April, we're about a month away from our, my average last frost date here, but I have a few plants that can take some light frost, a little bit of cold, and actually enjoy the cool weather. And I think they'd look a lot better than this uh, dead old Dusty Miller that's in these pots here. So I'm going to pop in my greenhouse, grab a couple plants, and we'll clean these pots out and get them looking a little nicer. So my view from the house uh, will look a lot better than it does right now. Okay, so I picked out a few plants out of the greenhouse. I have some ranunculus. So none of these flowers are blooming yet. Uh, some of them probably won't bloom for the next month, but they'll enjoy the sunshine out here. They'll be happy with the cooler weather and they'll just look a little better than, like I said, the dead plants. So the ranunculus I planted, I believe the end of March, I think it was, I started the corms inside and they sprouted and I've now potted them up into individual pots. So if you want to see how I got these started, I'll uh, link that video for you. Uh, they should probably start blooming around mid-May. Then I have some pansies here. So these are the early flowering pansies and they're looking nice, but I think they'd appreciate actually being out of the greenhouse where it's a little bit cooler during the day. It can get quite warm in there during the day. Uh, and I think they'll fill out quite nicely. I have three trays of these. I have other types of pansies here. But uh, I think the early flowers are probably the better ones to put out right now. And then I grabbed these little snapdragons. Now these are mini snaps and they tend to do well in the cool weather as well. And they've been just sitting in my greenhouse uncovered at night. We still get down below freezing sometimes and all these plants have been uncovered in the greenhouse at night and doing well. I think they'll be fine. I can always grab some frost blankets uh, to cover them if I need, if we're gonna get really cold, which we can still, can still happen here, but so a little bit of snapdragon action here and I might even stick some Dusty Miller back in but the live stuff this time. I'm just going to clean out these pots here, get out the dead plants, fluff up the soil a little bit. Uh, I won't put any fresh soil in right now because again they won't, they won't be here that long and they just don't need that much. So that's what I'm going to get to and then we'll get the plants started. I just potted some of these up, so they're not going to be very well rooted in, but that's okay. Thank you. 
We got them all planted up. They're looking uh, much more alive. <laughs> I still need to water them in. I wound up putting three ranunculus, one Dusty Miller, two cells of snapdragons, and six of the pansies into each of these pots. So it doesn't look like much right now, but I do think they'll spool out and uh, fill in fairly quickly with the warm, sunny weather that we are getting. And like I said, if, uh, if we're gonna be getting anywhere under the freezing mark, I will cover them. Most of these plants we find with a light freeze, but you just never know when it's gonna go beyond what they say. So that's kind of my cutoff where I'll just throw a little frost blanket, a box, a towel, whatever over top just for the night. And that way they're protected if we get colder than expected. But I think this will look really nice. Like I said, nothing's flowering yet. Probably in the next, within the next month, I should have some blooms on all of these plants, except the Dusty Miller, of course, doesn't bloom. It's just for foliage, but they all are fairly cold tolerant. And it's just nice to have something out here that's not dead to look at when I'm coming up to the greenhouse, which I do several times a day. It's nice to have something a little bit pretty to look at. So thanks for coming along with me today, watching this video. Hopefully it inspired you to maybe see if you have any plants at your disposal that can go out in the cool weather uh, and make something, make something just a little bit more cheery. Because if you're in Saskatchewan, Canada like I am, then you're probably done with the dusty dead of winter and ready to, to move on to a little bit of, even if it's just greenery, color and life again. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.